Hello everybody and welcome to the Film Review Central channel with me Kim Goodness. I hope that you're all well here to talk about film and TV and make the conversation sound a little bit more interesting. Back once again with another instalment of one of my favourite series here on the channel, Fan Choice Movie Reviews. I uh, absolutely love making these videos because it gives me the opportunity to interact with you guys and what movies you'd like to see and the reviews you'd like to see here on the channel and it's been a while since we've done this it's been a while actually since i've watched this movie so i massively apologize for um taking such a long time but things like frc live and other movie reviews has been uh, the priority on the channel but we're back again here and i've got to thank the absolute legend that is scott the movie critic for giving me this choice uh, he's recently just hit 400 subscribers on his youtube channel so massive congratulations to him he's been a very good friend of mine uh, in this space and we collaborated a few times which is amazing on his channel so i'll leave a link to his channel in the description in the description below make sure you go over there give him some love uh, and follow as well he's a fantastic youtuber so thank you very much scott for this choice but we're going to get into my thoughts here so here is the review for the toxic avenger here we go <laughs> So, before we start, didn't know anything about this movie. The only thing I sort of knew was that they were doing a reboot. And they, were, they did a reboot last year. Um, great cast in that reboot, but not a lot of people really spoke about it. I know it was at a few festivals, but it didn't really get a lot of hype. Not a lot of people were talking about it in, in positive stead. But as soon as Scott submitted this uh, over on our Facebook group forums, uh, I was in most definitely intrigued to check it out. And um, for me, it... Scott put it in high regard as well as some other YouTubers that I know that has um, reviewed it quite highly. For me, I'm not in that minority, unfortunately. Um, but I do think it got better as it went on. Because the first half of that movie is, for me personally, quite unbearable. Because you've got characters, you've got you know plot moments, and you've got imagery, which I wasn't a massive fan of. And, and it got very repetitive. The themes and the ideas would, were clearly there and they were shown and, and they were maintained throughout the whole movie and they were introduced very, very early on, which I liked. But for me, there were such unbearable individuals. You don't find them funny. You don't find them at all useful to the story. You just find, you just find them absolutely horrible as characters. And, and for me, that's not what I want to see. You know, it, it's all right to have villains. It's all right to... It's all right to have these, you know, characters who you, you're not supposed to like, but when you can't bear them talking, it, it just makes for a really, really difficult watch. However, it did get better. The movie did get better because I think it understood what the movie wanted to be and its identity. Because I think for the first half of the movie, it, it had a plan and it maintained that, and that was all great. But I do think that when you got into the second half of the movie and you started to really understand where they were going with it, it I think it made absolutely logical sense. And I think it made sense in terms of the identity of this movie. And I think it lacked that at the beginning of it. Um, I think the horror elements were great. Um, and I think they definitely captivated the time. Very creative horror moments as well. Um, you see that sort of... You know, united of friendship and love, which I think is definitely consistent themes within superhero genres. Um, I, I I wouldn't say it's a movie that I particularly want to rewatch, but I enjoyed it. There was parts and aspects of this movie that I enjoyed, and I do think that that came towards the middle and the back end of the movie. Um, I think the supporting characters were very just swap and change. You know, as the story went on, you didn't feel like they needed any backstory, any character arc. I mean that's the you know that's the height of what movies need to be now every character needs to have a backstory and a relatability it's just kind of nice that the characters are just keep and particularly supporting just keep swapping and changing um it does show its age <laughs> it does show its age it was released in 1984 and there's a lot of movies particularly nowadays where I watch them and I go does this hold up not in its story and its themes and you know the way the story is presented because you know society changes and, and that's not what I want to 
talk about on this review, but what I'm saying is, is that certain storylines and certain things can change because that society has changed and it's accepted in them times and things like that. But I think what I like to watch and see is that technical aspect and the things that potentially are ahead of its time and it, and it is suitable and acceptable where this film could be released nowadays and it would look fantastic. This movie's not one of them <laughs> and um, you know, it definitely shows its age, particularly in the action sequences I thought um, that was where I, f- I thought the imagery was fine, it was okay because I think a lot of movies now rely on fantasy elements. Uh, so I don't think that that was particularly right. It was just them action sequences. A few technical points you could really pick up on and see that it was showing its age. It, but at the end of the day, there's a reason why you know movies you know need to be watched from from different decades because you see the advancement of cinema, and um, it, it, it's not something that worries me. It doesn't put me off. Um, but as part of a review here, you have to talk about all aspects, particularly the technical parts, and I do think it lacked in certain areas. So, out of ten, this is quite harsh, and I'm sorry to do this, because obviously this was a movie that somebody recommended to me, but I am going to give The Toxic Avenger a five out of ten. So that is it for the review of The Toxic Avenger. Let me know what you think about the movie, if you have seen it, in the comment section below. Fill your comment section with that awesome opinion of yours and I have just got a quick announcement to make at the end of this video there will be a new series starting on this channel called Back in Time where I will be watching movies from 1974 to 2019 and picking a movie every five years so looking back at um, you know movies and definitely looking back at almost reminiscing about movies and just some movies you can't believe actually how old they are but I need a few movies from it each and every year um, so please go over to my Instagram or put it in the comment section below literally just tag the year and then a movie from that year that you'd like to see reviewed on the channel that will be put into contention and then I'll decide which movies are going to get reviewed here on the first season of Back in Time, the new series here on Film Review Central. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe, and I hope to make the conversation about film and TV sound a little bit more interesting. See you in a bit.